Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgon111, and welcome back to Rogue Legacy 2. Last time, we earned some money and some pirate mastery, but still ended up losing to the final boss. And so for today, I think I probably want to try to earn some more money. I don't love any of these errors, so I'm going to re-roll and see if we happen to get anything better. Um... A night where we could learn IBS and whatever medium is. Presumably just kind of like Halloween theme stuff. Could try to use that to kill the boss, actually. There is a mage who is actually a pretty good mage. That one I could take into the castle and probably do some stuff with. And a weird Valkyrie with boxing gloves, who also is pretty good. I'm in the mood to play the mage, though. So let's take this guy and try to go get some things done. I don't believe we have any money, so I don't need to worry about that. I would like to purchase some more rune weight and equip some more runes. So that is something that I have kind of on my radar. I've got this spell that I like. I've got this spell that I also like. Um, so all of that is good. And right, I also still need to try to make it down into Pish and Dry Lake to actually do the other Scar Challenge reveal. So that's also on my list. So, yeah, I got a few things I want to do. I'm going to start things off in the castle, though, Citadel Gartha, and we'll do a couple of rooms, but I have to imagine that even the mage will probably be one-shotting most of the enemies here in the Citadel, and so that this is not going to necessarily be a particularly challenging or interesting area. But yeah, I just one-shot that guy. Alright. It's two-shotting that guy. But I have great confidence that I can take this out pretty well. So let me try to unlock a couple of transporters. Teleporters, whatever they're called. <laughs> and I'll beat you guys when we're in a more interesting situation. Okay, this is sufficiently interesting. Destroy all targets. Time limit 10. Got most of them. Got it. Hooray! Take advantage of my prismatic spectrum to earn myself some red ether. Neat. Oh, and one of these things. I'm happy to do it. This might have a single... Uh, no, I think this is just waves of enemies. I was going to say a single, um, oops. Right, this holds me in place. I forgot about that. A single Blightborn is what I was about to say. Alright, taking too much damage. But fortunately, these guys really don't hit all that hard, and so it's not really an issue. Oops. Alright. Ouch. Nice. Yeah, when you can one-shot bad guys, it's pretty good. I'm actually curious about something. I have seen Alex Diener do this, and I don't know if they might have changed it in the update. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to defeat most of the guys in here, as one does, oops, in order to earn a bunch of experience. However, then, having defeated most of the guys, I'm going to return to the main menu and see if I can re-enter that same challenge and do it again. So I'll meet you back over there. The challenge is no longer here. They changed it. Okay. So I lose the ability to reap the rewards and the ability to re-enter this thing. So they did consider it an exploit, which I do actually agree with um, in terms of game design. Um, however, it was previously the case that you could exit the challenge in the middle, uh, go back to the main menu, and then go re-enter it again later. And use that both as an infinite source of experience and also an infinite source of healing if you had like life steal and soul steal and were able to kill the enemies without taking damage. Um, and so it was kind of a gaping hole uh, in the system. Um, as someone who previously made a series called Mastering Rogue Legacy with the first game and was considering one with Mastering Rogue Legacy 2, it was one of those exploitative things that I feel like you needed to know about if you're going to make a mastery series. Um, and so I was happy to know about it while it existed, but that is a hole that has been patched up. In any case, I found my way to the Stygian study. Things should be a little bit more interesting here, I expect. 
And yeah, this is a place that we could definitely find an apple. So I sacrificed some possible resources in order to get knowledge and science about changes that were made in the update. And so that's a very good trade-off. All right, so in this zone, I feel reasonably comfortable with most of the enemies and my weaponry. So let's just try to get all the riches. Ouch. Find the relics, etc. That is a mimic. Oops, and that is me killing Mimic. I actually used my weapon there in order to hover in the air intentionally, in order to avoid falling on the coin. Ah, uh, that's a... Uh, no. <laughs> I thought it was a commander. It was actually the Mana Leech status, uh, and the Mana Burn, and... Uh, what is it called? Mana Burn, and... There's another name for uh, the other status infliction that I impose on the enemies. Where is it? Mana Leech and Magic Break. Right, Magic Break. Enemies take more spell damage. So if you hit them once with the Wand of Blasting, you inflict that so they'll be more susceptible to your other magic attacks later on. Oops. And I saw those things hovering above the enemy, and I was thinking that it was a commander causing those things to hover above the enemy, but no. It was just the status effects that I was dealing to him. Um, sure. We'll kill you, and then I'll just sit down here and kill you that way. Aha! Take that, Mr. Mimic. Uh, it appears... Ouch. <laughs> but there's a chest up here that I want. And apparently I was willing to take 52 damage in order to get it. Well, I don't know that I was willing, per se. But it's what happened. You saw it happened. Oops, and I tried to jump out of that and failed. And now I've taken a lot of damage. Alright, let's get out of the way of those. Yeah, the fact that you can aim this weapon and that it goes through walls makes it a very powerful spell. Lucent Beam, I think, is definitely becoming one of my favorites. Thanks for the food. I don't know that I wanted to... Oh gosh, that actually is a commander. Ouch. Um, fortunately, I got hit by the non-commander. Uh, okay. Uh, somehow got some food again, I think. Not sure exactly how that happened. It's fine. Alright, you're dead. But you're not. You're almost dead, though. There we go. And now I just have to get rid of the various Dark Bolts coming after me. Okay. It is done. That was more of a mess, because I did not anticipate the commander being there because he was hiding as a painting as a doomscape. Those are the dangers. Uh, let's do this. Nice. Alright. I feel like I am kind of struggling to stay alive, but I'm still doing it. So I'm not too worried yet. Let's do this. There we go. But yeah, in my first playthrough, I don't know that I felt that Mage was a particularly great class, but I'm pretty fond of Mage these days. It obviously helps that I'm investing more in my uh, Wisdom, Intelligence, whatever it's called, stat, which obviously is going to make the Mage a more viable class to play, since their main sources of damage are going to be buffed by that. But nevertheless, I just think it's a, uh, it's a very versatile class. Oops, I, I'm not even sure, did I get hit by a projectile there? I'm not sure, honestly, what hit me there. Which is never a great feeling. You're gonna take damage, be nice if you know what you took damage from. But sometimes there's a lot happening on the screen. This game definitely has bullet hell like play and so it's easy to lose track stone rune core more ore all right there's a bunch of bad guys up here i have just the spell for that have a prismatic spectrum did i kill all of them not all of them looks like you escaped the range of the spell so let's go and finish you off 
Um, there we go. Now you're finished off. And I've won two chests. Hooray! So yeah, staying alive in this area. Eventually we'll find the big room with all the goodies. I hope. That is the main thing I want. Want, want, want. Gamey makes the kitty say want. Oops. Ah! <laughs> I hit some button on my keyboard. I'm not even sure what button I hit. I do... I do a number of awkward things in terms of the physical layout of my computer setup. In this instance, the one I'm going to call out is that... Hold on, I need to think about this for a second. I think the correct thing to do here is this. Yes, great. Um, I always type with the keyboard in my lap as opposed to on a desk or on a tray. Um, and I'm also playing with a wired controller. And so the wire from the controller is going across my lap <laughs> over the keyboard. And so occasionally when I move my controller enthusiastically, <laughs> If things are happening, um, the wire ends up like randomly pushing down some of the keys on the keyboard. And so that's why occasionally some of that stuff happens. Is it the best setup? No. Is it the one I do? Yes. And so if you ever wonder why sometimes I press completely random keys, that's the best answer you're going to get. I have not seen this room in a while, but this was a room that did exist previously in the game. Relatively rare room. It's kind of silly. But I guess as much as you can call that a platforming puzzle uh, in this game, that's kind of what it is. I wonder if Enoch will be right here. If he had been, I'd be like, oh, I called it. But now that he hasn't been, I'm just like, eh, we'll just, we don't have to say anything else about that. It was just a random guess that I made. Not a giant prediction. Not something that was going to make me look amazing. Not something that when I fail to get it, I'll edit it out in the video, so you'll never know that my prediction was wrong. That's one of the advantages to video. Or, you know, making and recording videos. It's the ability to do editing. I've not done too much uh, editing in my favor, per se, in this series, other than with some of the uh, Drift House challenges, uh, the Scar Challenge thingies. Um, edit out a couple of failed attempts, failed attempts, mostly when I just kind of got, like, really crummy sets of relics that weren't going to help me. Um, and I'm also doing that editing just because I want to keep the series moving and you don't have to see me fail to fighting bladed rows three times in a row before I succeed. Okay, this is what I was looking for. I do want to increase my maximum health. And did I read all the lore in here? I actually still haven't. So let's go ahead and uh, advance some of the text there. And over here, hmm. Sharon's Trial. I still have a ton. Yeah, let's go for it. Still have a ton of the world yet to explore. We have to kill 15 enemies without taking any damage. Not an easy task. I'm just going to peek into a couple of rooms. In case there's easy things here. That's not one of them. Uh, that one's also not great. So yeah, let me go back to Citadel Agartha and keep you with me to see if I can stay alive and kill 15 enemies. Now, even in Citadel Agartha, there's a number of enemies that I don't want one shot with my staff. So let's be wary of that. I also, I think I left an enemy in this room right here. I did. So let's not die to him because then I'd look extremely foolish. And, yeah, I guess the orbs are not enemies, per se. They're not defeatable enemies, in any case. So who do we got over here? This is not bad. Killed that guy. Killed that guy. Um, I don't love that ceiling spike thing. Precise jumping. It's not always my strong suit. So I'm going to choose to go a different direction. Let's see what's down here. Uh, that's a pretty gigantic room. Yeah, it's a pretty gigantic room. And going top down into a gigantic room is not always the best recipe for taking zero damage. Ooh! I don't think I can kill all the enemies in there <laughs> without taking damage, so let's see if we can complete this challenge first and then return to this purple question mark. 
Uh, here's a bad guy who's not too hard to defeat. It did take two shots, though. Be wary. This room is also actually not that bad, especially if I come in here and do some of that. Yeah. Alright, so we're up to 10 of our 15 kills. I still have a fair amount of mana. Don't get greedy and go flying through at top speed rooms like this, where you can get hit by environmental threats. Do realize now that I'm going to have to go down into this room, I think. Oh, I see. Hmm. I'm going to choose to go another way. Let's try this room. I don't love these hazards, but they do get me to another room, and this room's actually pretty good for me, I think. Oh, wait! I didn't see the pupil down there. I saw the Blazelock and the Skeleton. I didn't see the pupil. That's not necessarily an excuse um, for the way that I played that, because I just I didn't dash far enough. I guess I paused myself in midair by casting the Prismatic Spectrum and didn't make it over to the ledge on the left, which is what I intended to do. Um, but yeah, that's how that one went. We might have earned enough money to do a couple interesting things. Ooh, hypercoagulation on a barbarian. That could be a boss killer. Basic duelist. Hypercoagulation on a pirate as well. Um, let's see. Both of them have kind of slow attacks that could make it a little bit difficult to get away from Kane. I like the pirate's uh, talent better in terms of dealing some extra damage. The Barbarian's still at rank zero. I'm going to try the pirate versus Kane, I think. But first, with the monies, let's go take a look and see how I'm doing in terms of rune weight. I currently have a lot of rune weight available, and I know there's runes I want to get. Specifically, the bounty rune is extremely valuable early in the game, so we're going to purchase that. And then stone rune could also be good. Might rune is not as important yet until my crits go up. Capacity rune, also honestly kind of nice, but I don't need it for this character. Reinforced Rune, Increased Total Armor. That one's good, but I don't have the Rune Weight for it. And Folded Rune to increase Armor Max Block Cap. I'm not sure that I'm up to the Max Block Cap or anywhere near it yet. So that's not necessarily important. And I don't have the Rune Weight for that. And Resolve Rune, I don't have the Rune Weight for that either. I think I'm actually going to hold off on purchasing any more runes. I could purchase more Rune Weight... And then equip one of those runes? Actually, yeah, I think I will do that. So with more rune weight, then which of these would I like the most? Still can't do reinforced. Retaliation is nice. I'm going to take retaliation. All right, are there any NPCs to talk to? No, so let's spend the rest of my money and then go try fighting Kane with this character who has hypercoagulation, which means I'll regain some of my health, which means health is a very good stat to bring more of into this fight. And I could afford two of them. So let's take two of them. Great. To the final boss. Let's give this a try. I need to focus better on dodging his attacks. That's the thing I was doing somewhat poorly. Like, I know how to read them all. I just have to execute the actual button pressing associated with it. And I also need to remember that I have this thing and I should use it. Because it's very good. Alright, read the attack. Focus on dodging. Read the attack. Focus on dodging. Ouch. And definitely do this. Uh, come walk towards me, guys, so you get hit by the bullets, please. Thank you. And I should try to find an opportunity to use my gravity beam, because it actually will do a fair amount of damage. 
Alright, good. That's fine. Oh boy. I need to dodge this attack first, and then set up my airship second, I think. There we go. Ah, I failed to dodge that, though. Alright, don't worry about it. Just keep dealing damage. Everything's fine. Ah, darn it. This is the attack that I hate the most. Ah. And this one, I screwed up again. Like, I know what to do in that attack, and my fingers just aren't doing the thing. But yeah, his attacks are definitely mostly worse in the dark form rather than the light form, except for this one. That one's actually very kind. Ah, and I jumped too high. That's my own fault. Alright, let's do this. Let's jump. Double jump. Ah, where's my spin kick? <laughs> I pressed the button, I swear. Alright, let's go ahead and annihilate that if I can. Ah, my void dash ran out at just the wrong moment. Alright, let's do this. That worked out okay. That worked out okay. I need to get the airship out again. Oh, I can stand here. Nice. Okay, that actually worked. An extra double jump, honestly, would actually help me a lot. I only have one double jump. It's a lot of rune weight to get the second double jump. Darn it, I ran out of uh, air dash. But it's quite valuable. Well, I at least avoided them. I was trying to spin kick off the third one, and so I didn't execute exactly how I wanted to. Also, I note that I'm almost out of health at this point. Uh, oops. Oh boy! <laughs> uh, Hyper Coag, if you want to uh, give me some health back, that'd be great. Alright, I managed to change his form again. And it wasn't enough. Man, I only got him halfway down. Um, I think I need a super mobile hero. Someone who does not have any animation block during their attacks to really kill him. A ranger with a pizza actually has a shot. Do I want to try to build this ranger up in the castle? I think yes. Also, I need ranger if I just get a bunch of mastery rank experience with a ranger. I didn't even look at the other choices. Um, if I get a bunch of experience with a ranger, I'll get a bunch of strength bonus as well. So let's take this guy into the castle. Um, yeah, I can do great things with this hero. Let me do some basic things to start. Alright, a Nod Bone could give me 30% more max health. I've left a lot of furniture behind, so there's a lot of food that I could potentially eat, including... Some right here at the doorway to Axis Mundi. So let's go ahead and see if we get lucky with any of that. There's a mana potion. There's a pizza. Alright. So that's 47 more max HP. Very nice. There's a chicken leg. So there's another 46 maximum HP. And there's another chicken leg. Alright, so just like that, I got three procs of my Nod Bone. And now my hit points are way up. So that is a great start. Ooh, Hyperion's Ring. That's pretty tempting. Yeah, that could definitely help me just uh, defeat Kane. I think. I think I have to take it. Alright, we'll see if we can get a few more apples to get even stronger, but I think this is turning into a Kane killer. Fairy Chest destroy all targets. If I do this, I'll get Spore Burst. Which allows me to defeat a bunch of them at a time, but not enough. And... Hmm. Yeah, I'm sure there is a good way to use my pizza and my platform there, but I didn't quite do it. Alright, took a shot. Hey, here's an apple. Yum! Oh dear. It's that air horn thingy I saw. Oh, blunderbuss! It's some kind of gun. Massive recoil, always fires two shots, cannot cancel, cannot be aimed. Press R to reload, last shot skill crits. 
I feel like I have a potential workable boss killer, and so while I do want to explore new content, I just I can't afford to make the sacrifice of possibly ruining this character. Um, so I'm going to choose not to. Instead, I'm going to go try to find an apple in the study, and then we're going to go try to win the game, I think is how it goes. All right. So in the study, these guys are actually taking a beating, and so it's going to take many pizzas to kill most enemies. So I will need to be careful in that regard. Uh, let's just try climbing upwards to start, I think. Feels like a good direction to go. Uh, you're an enemy. Um, who I don't need to wake up and deal with, so let's just not wake up and deal with. Uh, I still could use another chicken leg. Uh, mana potions could help too. I think fireballing you is probably the best way to deal with you. And I haven't used my Ivy Canopy, like, at all. Oh, and I'm not standing on it enough. Oh, no, I did Spore Burst, too. Okay. Oh, and I woke up something. Crap. <laughs> um, let's do one of these again. I think that's probably a smart thing to do. The Doombus was unexpected. Unexpected Doombus. Oh, boy. All right, that circling pizza ouch, was actually doing some work, which is great. Ouch. All right, I need to throw another fireball, I think, because there's just too many projectiles right now for my brain to handle. <laughs> so let's get rid of them. Um, we'll take a little while to get all my mana back, probably. There are upward exits out of this room and a bunch of furniture that I want to try to break. So let us do such things. There's some mana. Hooray. And it also gives me some health, too, since I have a quenching rune. Uh, it's just not worth it. Oh, boy. Uh, you're not a commander. Oh, boy. Uh, but you on the left are. I was about to say right, and then I realized I got my directions confused. Um, I'm taking a beating in this room, so I should really get out of here. But I also realize this guy is in a very favorable position for the weapon that I hold. So I'm going to get a little bit greedy, but also play very careful <laughs> in order to finish him off. All right, that worked out fine. Let's see. Um, looking for the room with the apple, but also need to make sure I have the health to deal with it. Okay, so here's this room again. I'm gonna try it again and play it a little bit differently. I have to be right, standing here. Uh, fireball? Oh, I missed one, darn it. <laughs> I was very close. All right, I tried. Yeah, if I were very precise in my spin kicks, I think you can do that room with only spin kicks, as is often true for a number of the fairy chess rooms. Uh, but I'm just just not good enough at placing them to do that, I don't think. You, I could cut you down here and deal with you and then get up to these chests, I think. Uh, I say I can cut you down here, but you don't seem to want to comply with the agreement, so let's just not bother. This is not really the reason I'm here. Uh, I see you, and so I'll do that. That should finish you off, I think. Yeah. And then I can come down here and deal with you. And just farm up a tiny bit of health that way and get some more monies. But if I were the Stygian study room, where would I be? Bottom right, maybe? Nope. Scary dude, ouch. All right, well, I walked right into that, literally. All right. So I'm at 428 health. Like, even if I find the apple now, I need to find other ways to heal, too. I guess I do get a 40% heal at the boss door, if I remember correctly. But I need to find, like, a pizza or a couple of chicken legs or many, many mana potions to make this work. There's one of them. So, oops, okay. Okay. Avoided the indirect attack by the hammer. There's a chicken leg. Okay. Things all of a sudden are looking much more up. Yeah, there's another chicken leg. Okay, great. And a mana potion. I'm almost at max health. I am at max health. Amazing. Okay, so don't ruin it by going into rooms you don't need to be in. This room has another exit. So that's the reason we're continuing through here. Because we're trying to find the room with the apple. So I can go eat it. 
Alright. Pizza does not deal a lot of damage, but I do think it's a pretty decent cane weapon nonetheless. Uh, unfortunately, Pizza also doesn't really work all that well, it feels like, with the Ivy Canopy. Um, I'm not sure if there's ways that I can just kind of practice using it. But I don't see the Ivy Canopy doing a whole lot for me in the cane fight, so maybe I'll be able to find a talent swap somewhere. So that's another reason, just to try to explore as many rooms as possible. But I'm still looking for my apple. Oh boy. That was... I'm sure I could have done something better, but I'm not sure exactly what. Okay, this does take me upward. I see the Mimic. I'm going to avoid the Mimic. And now that I feel safer, now I can go ahead and kill the Mimic, I think. Oh boy, he's down on my level. It's fine. And let's just go up this way. Alright, that'll get me back up to max health. That'll get me past max health, so let's leave it there for a moment. In case I take another hit. Get more value out of that chicken leg in just a bit. I can hit you through the wall, so let's do that. Narrowly avoid getting grazed by the uh, Zorb, I think is its name. There's Orb, there's Zorb, and there's Xorb or something. Are officially the three names of those non defeatable bouncy enemies. Uh, there's another chicken leg. Okay, I don't need the second chicken leg. Are there any more enemies to kill in here? There are. So we'll leave that first chicken leg down there, I think. Uh, those are mimics. So let's get them dead. Anytime now. If you want to be dead, that'd be great. There we go. He did it. He became dead, just as I asked. There is still a chicken leg down there. Okay, great. I thought there was. Just wanted to confirm. Alright, let's do a better job with my pizza here. That was pretty good. Alright, that guy's dead. He did drop coins. I'll go get them on the way back. I want to go grab this, because money is good. Money equals upgrades for a character for the future. We'll grab this money. Right now I don't need that chicken leg for anything. And here's another Mimic. And it's just kind of stun lock him with pizzas. Stun lock him with pizzas. Those are not words I expected to expect. Expected to say when I woke up this morning. But here we are. Yeah. I maybe should have expected it, though. Alright, I'm going to wait for those projectiles to go by. Then get some kills on these guys. Ooh, boy. Uh, just dash. We're fine. Here's the room. Okay, so let's eat an apple. Yum. And read some lore, because I still haven't finished off all this crazy lore. I don't know that it matters, but I want to do it for reasons. And yeah, I'm out of resolve. Okay, let's see if we can find a mana potion or a chicken leg. And at this point... I think I do still need some healing. Yeah, so I can probably get that in X Monday, so I'm gonna head over there. Ooh, another one of these challenges which would earn me a thingy. But I would need a lot of health to be able to eat another one, so I'd prefer to be fuller health. But I think I could do that challenge. So I think I have to try to kill some more bad guys or find another chicken leg and then go in there. Yeah, I think that's the plan. Ooh! Pizza is good, but I think Saber is even better because we also get the Blessing of Strength. So I actually am going to change from the Pizza to the Saber. This is also a very good boss killer kind of weapon. And now we've got the Blessing of Strength on top of it all. This will also make it a little bit easier... Oh, I just took some damage there, though. To take on that uh, Scar Challenge thingy thingy. Whatever it's called get the empathies and an extra apple and things. Ooh, uh, I almost just fell down the water there. Where's the land? It's here. Okay, and I did make it back here. Okay, so I should be able to heal up on some furniture here. 
that I have left. Or the furniture here that I have left. And then I'll go back to that challenge and see if we can eat one more apple. I think is the plan. There was some healing. Okay, great. So now I'm going to go do that challenge. Okay, so here it is. Let's see if we can do some amazing things here. Uh, nice enough. Let's get rid of the guys who are going to shoot at me with some priority when possible. Alright, there's a lot to dodge here. Saber is one and two shotting a lot of these guys though, so that's good. And I can even crit, right, if I think about it, so that could be good when possible to play on it. Except for I keep coming up short, okay. Um, is there an enemy I'm not seeing? There he is. Oh gosh, extra large. Uh, you get a fireball, lucky you. Guess what, you get a second fireball. And that did kill you, okay, good. Really didn't want to get hit by him. Cool, and now I have enough hit points that I can eat the apple. It's pretty dangerous because it's gonna bring me back down. And I'm obviously not gonna take either of those because I'm already at 97% resolve. And I don't think there's a way to use the ivy canopy to get up to the top of this room, so I won't worry about that. Closed space, good, I needed those empathies. And now let me go on one more run to try to get my hit points back. I just realized I forgot to ever do the Pish and Dry Lake thing. And I can't go there to get my hit points back. Hmm. Okay, 525. I think that'll do it. I think a 40% heal. I left the furniture at the entrance to the Kerguelian Plateau and found some healing there. So I think this will heal me to max or very close to it. So let's give Kane a shot with this. Oh, 450? Did I bring this up to 60%? I don't remember. Uh, let's do this. It's an opportunity, so I want to take it. Alrighty. Uh, let's hit you with a fireball, why not? And now I need to get over you. And I need to prepare. And let's stand here. Hit you with a fireball. Okay, I'm going to just choose to be out of range of that. Alright, that destroyed some of them at least. Uh, this is not great. Uh, actually, that turned out pretty great. Oh gosh, I'm in the wrong spot. Uh, let's hit you with the fireball. And you're gonna jump and dash, and I need to be ready to... Whoop. Okay, do that. This is bad. I had enough room. Okay, great. And I transformed you, which is also great. Let me get on this side of you. And I'm gonna do this in case it helps. It did. Let's hit you with the fireball. Ouch! Uh, that's a bug, right? Or is that a thing that can happen? Alright, well, I successfully dodged that. That's nice. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's hit you with the fireball. Oh, that was close. Double jump. Ah. Still really struggle with that one. Fireball. Ah, that one too. Okay. That's good. I can deal with that. Darn it. Okay, I dealt with that. I'm just not dealing enough damage. Like, my DPS is uh, not nearly enough to take you out, it seems like. Like, I did a much better oops job of avoiding many of your attacks, but you're still only halfway down. I guess I'm probably taking too much damage, too. Ouch. That's really unfortunate. Oh boy, that's not good. Alright, you turned into light form, which means I've got this coming. Oh gosh. Oh boy. Okay, fine. I hate this one. Alright, we dealt with it, though. Alright, you're light form again. Uh, so this is a skeleton, okay. I need to do this. Let's hit you with the fireball. And another. Oh, this is bad. Okay. Darn it. Couldn't quite avoid it. And I need to jump. Oh, this is bad. 
<laughs> it's all bad. Darn it. Okay. I did a lot better job at Oh, I have Hyperion's Ring. I forgot. We're still alive. <laughs> I was going to say, I did a better job dodging. Um, and we still have a chance. So let's deal a bunch of damage. You get ready. And I can dodge that. That's a good one. Ouch. Ugh. And this one's hard. Okay, that worked. This is good. Okay, I should hit you with the fireball. And another. Uh, what are you doing? You're doing this. That's actually fine. I have plenty of room. I don't love this. Oh boy, let's do this. That's a way to take advantage, since I need to stay in the air for a long time. Oh god, it did it again! I I don't understand what causes that. Is it because I'm in the air? I just don't know. Oh boy, I mistimed that, and we're really close. Just deal as much damage as you can. Oh, got it. Okay, just barely. I could have played that better. Fortunately, I did actually play it just well enough. But, man, Kane is harder than I remember. I guess I've been watching too many good players play against him. And my brain knows all the moves I need to make in order to dodge all of his attacks. Uh, but my fingers just don't react fast enough to do it all, all the time. Um, but I got it done. Uh, the escape sequence and getting the heirloom is boring, so I'm going to skip past that. I'm a true hero. Hooray. And the true hero killed a whole bunch of things and got 23,000 gold along the way. Good job. So who should we take next? This assassin? This duelist with a feathered cap? Uh, another ranger? Ooh, Lexithemia, no. Uh, a boxer is still at rank zero. I don't like White Star, um, but I would like to rank up a boxer and they also need to do some scar challenges. So I think that could be good. And right, I need to spend my money and I need to decide how I'm going to spend it. Um, I think first things first. Early in the game, always go for the increased gold gain, even though it costs a bunch, because that's just an investment. After this, I want to take a look at my weapons and armor and runes and things. I actually don't have nearly as much money left as I was hoping. Um, there's a number of things I would like to buy. Rune weight is definitely one of them. I guess I'm going to purchase the more expensive rune weight. And then I also want to get armor, so let's purchase some armor for sure. But that pretty much used up my money. Uh, is it possible for me to go into the drift house and do scar challenges right now? Uh, that's a good question. I feel like there is a way, but I don't know how to do it. Um, oh, right, I have to start a new thread. And then, yes, I think I remember this. And I think I've heard that the system has changed. So enter a new thread. Now I can still only do plus one. I was thinking that you could advance into further threads faster now. Um, all right, well, I definitely want the Burden of a Mech. So let's do that. Oh, the area burdens are available to me already. And I think they might have different icons. I don't remember. Oh, unlock all burdens. For those that want to choose your own challenge, unlocks all burdens, allows you to go up to new game plus seven. Once enabled, this cannot be undone. Um, I think for new game plus one, I don't want to do it, but I think after new game plus one, I will be strong enough that I will want to do that. So for right now, what other burden do I want to add? And have they added any more burdens? Ooh, Burden of Blackroot. You've been afflicted with Blackroot Poison. Taking damage removes death marks. Losing all death marks will instantly kill you. Defeat enemies and collect meat potions to restore death marks. Fascinating. <laughs> okay, that's pretty interesting. Burden of Drain. All forms of life drain from runes, relics, and traits are reduced. Less lifesteal. I think that one's new, too. Uh, burden of Skill. I actually do want this. 
And do I want to go up to maximum? Because it allows me to build up my characters and find more treasure chests. I think I am going to go up to the maximum world size burden. I didn't like it last time, but I think I'm going to like it more now. Yeah. And burdens required. 4 out of 2, 10% gold bonus. Do you get more gold bonus for equipping more burdens? Possibly that's changed too? I don't remember. <laughs> uh, held gold will be given to Sharon. I already spent my gold, so that's fine. And then I believe it's the case that if I want to do the Drift House, if I quit out of the game during the tutorial and go back in, I think that brings me to the Drift House, perhaps. And I don't think there's anything I need to do while I'm in here right now. So I don't want to skip tutorial. I want to return to the main menu. And then continue my Legacy Plus One. And where does that bring me? It does bring me to the docks. Okay. So now, as a result, I can do some of these as a boxer. So let me go give them a try. All right, Bladed Rose with Soul Tether and Ivy Roots. Let's just see how it goes. That's a nice start. Okay. And let me go ahead and just have, oops, one of those available on the ground. All the opportunities there. And ouch, ouch, ouch. That didn't work the way I wanted. Ah! That didn't either. Okay, managed to get a good knockout punch there, though. Uh, let's go ahead and eat that. Ugh. All right, here's a chance to build up some KO. And come on. Oh, I don't want to fight you, though. I want to fight you. Knockout punch. Uh, this is not going great. Let's do that. Let's eat the pizza, which is going to save my life. All right, that defeated Lamech and transformed her. So then let's go eat this. And that. Yeah, this is with four empathies, by the way, so that's what's making it as easy as it is. Which I'm happy to take advantage of. All right, I'm a boxer. I can just stand inside you. I forgot about that aspect of boxer. It's pretty great. Um, I ran out of space there. It's fine. Ah, uh, I was going to KO punch you. It's fine. All right, I got my points. It was a little bit messy, but that's fine. I'm just trying to get done with these scar challenges so I can move on with life. Okay, Poison Cloud and Catalyst work well together along with the Achilles Shield. And he was very kind there. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, I did get my knockout punch. Alright, I need to get you poisoned again so my catalyst works. This is good. This is really good. Alright, that was pretty good. Ah, get my punch. Okay, I need to get you poisoned again so my catalyst kicks in. And then, okay, punch. Okay, there we go. Finally got a combo that worked. Yeah, like a status effect dealing thing and Catalyst, that's a really good combo. <laughs> um, and Achilles Shield, I actually managed to keep my health up a bit. Hooray, finally got the Silver Trophy. We're making progress there. Okay, I think that's all I have time for today. I hope, as always, that you all are having a great day. And I will see you again soon, where we will take a boxer into New Game Plus One. For now, bye-bye.